Voyager 2 has been around for nearly 50 years, distancing itself more and more from Earth, away from our influence, the Sun, and beyond the comfort of known science. This was never meant to be long, and yet it still speaks quietly from the void. But this time, the message was unique. What NASA figured out from the most recent transmission not only surprised them, it rattled the entire scientific community a finding that was supposed to be impossible, a signature no one expected, and a reality we may not be prepared to face. What did Voyager to really discover? How does it defy all odds we thought we knew about the edge of the solar system? And why are researchers describing it as the most eerie discovery ever made in space? Let's get going. Voyager to shouldn't exist. Its journey was only possible because of a once-in-a-lifetime, 176-year alignment of the planets. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune strung as if they were pearls on an invisible arc. In the 1960s, a part-time NASA employee plotted those orbits by hand with only a pencil. His discovery allowed engineers to use the gravity of each planet to launch the spacecraft toward the edge of the solar system, accelerating it more than any other method humanity had ever devised. Built with 69 kilobytes of memory less than the key fob that opens your car and transmitting with the strength of a refrigerator light bulb, Voyager 2 was never intended for use in interstellar space. Nonetheless, 46 years later, it remains out there billions of miles away, whispering through the void. And now, it has whispered something strange. In 2018, Voyager to crossed the heliopause where the sun's outermost solar wind yields to the pressures of interstellar space. It followed its twin, Voyager 1, which passed through in 2012. But what Voyager to discovered at the threshold was not in line with predictions. It didn't match anything. Scientists expected sharp changes in radiation, magnetic fields, and plasma flow. But while the spacecraft did record a massive increase in plasma density as evidence it was an in interstellar space, the anticipated reorientation of the magnetic field never happened. The field remained stubbornly unchanged, just as it had with Voyager 1. It was like stepping into a new room where the walls were painted exactly the same as the one you left. Physics is not meant to work that way, unless we were wrong about the shape of the room. For decades, we believed the heliosphere, the sun's protective magnetic bubble, ended at a certain point, wrapping us in a cocoon that separated home from the galactic wild. But Voyager 2's findings suggest that boundary is not a sharp border. It's a blurred, fluctuating, turbulent, contradictory frontier unlike anything theoretical models predicted. Voyager 2 didn't find silence beyond the sun's reach. It found strange fluctuations, ghost-like pulses of cosmic rays, and plasma. Variations that don't match the 11-year cycle of the sun. It's as if the spacecraft entered a place between places, a kind of magnetic twilight zone. And then came the impossible. Voyager's instruments detected a region of steady plasma and expanding galactic radiation with no accompanying shift in the magnetic field. According to our physics, that shouldn't occur unless there is something obstructing our comprehension, something bigger, something we're only just beginning to see. Perhaps what's most incredible isn't exactly what Voyager to discovered, but how it found it. With 50-year-old computers, powered by plutonium heat and radioisotope thermoelectric generators that lose for watts of energy per year, the spacecraft continues to function in temperatures it was never designed to withstand. Engineers had already turned off critical systems like the heater for the cosmic ray detector to conserve power. Everyone believed the instrument would freeze and malfunction. Instead, it kept working far beyond its thermal limits as if the machine refused to shut down before delivering one last truth. Only five instruments continue to function now. By 2030, that number could fall to zero. But before that occurs, Voyager 2 has discovered something so strange, so precise, so wrong by old traditional logic that it may rewrite what we know about the outer solar system. Because the edge we thought we knew, our neighborhood's end, is not the end. And what lies beyond, Voyager 2 is trying to tell us before it's too late. 
Before the Voyagers, we believed the heliosphere was shaped like a teardrop with the shadow of the sun behind it like a comet's tail. But the data Voyager 2 is returning suggests a different picture, a chaotic, distorted boundary that fluctuates wildly and may not be shaped by the sun at all. Instead of a clean separation between the solar system and interstellar space, Voyager to found overlapping zones of magnetic interference, abrupt swaths of high-pressure plasma, and erratic radiation spikes. These weren't supposed to be there. They don't fit into any model. It's like trying to define the shape of a cloud with a ruler. Some physicists now suspect the heliosphere is being reshaped and twisted by galactic magnetic forces, pulled and pinched by interstellar winds we have never measured. Voyager 2, despite being 12 billion miles away, is sending back evidence that the Sun's influence is not as dominant as we once believed. And that's more than a surprise, it's a threat. As Voyager 2 leaves the Sun's protective shadow, one thing becomes terrifyingly clear space is significantly more violent than we thought. Cosmic rays, subatomic shrapnel launched by supernovae from the past, are no longer filtered by the heliosphere. Voyager 2 is now exposed to them directly, and the data shows an alarming trend. Not only is the stronger radiation, but it is structured, periodic, and patterned. There are pulses. The information, according to some, shows signs of interactions between cosmic rays and structures hidden in other stars, perhaps dense clouds of plasma, or worse, drifting collapsed remnants of previous stars silently traversing space. As a result, a frightening query emerges. If even Voyager's hardened, heat-powered instruments are battling for survival, what chance would human life have out there? These cosmic rays burn through more than just metal. They destroy DNA and destabilize electronics. As Voyager progresses further into the unknown, it's revealing just how vulnerable we are in the face of the galaxy's undiluted forces. Each Voyager carries a message, a 12-inch gold-plated disc containing music, images, and greetings in 55 languages. It's been called Earth's mixtape, the beginning of humanity and our final letter to the universe. But here's what most people are unaware of, those records are not merely symbolic. They're our only real attempt to make contact with something we are unable to comprehend. They include Beethoven, Chuck Berry, images of children, scientific data, and a message from President Jimmy Carter that reads, This record represents our hope, our determination, and our goodwill in a vast and awesome universe. Now, contemplate this. Voyager 2 has carried that message farther than anything the human race has traveled before. And if there is something out there, conscious or not, it is being listened to not our strongest weapons or our most innovative minds, but our greetings, music, and thoughts of home. As Voyager's last instruments begin to fail, the record will be all that's left, floating, waiting, echoing a species that once whispered a greeting and looked up at the heavens. In its latest transmission, Voyager 2 discovered something that shouldn't exist. Scientists haven't publicly released the entire data, but leaks from NASA suggest a spike in frequency in one of the spacecraft's low-band instruments a brief signal that repeats. Plasma vibrations, not cosmic noise, a signal that some insiders have described as mathematically reliable. It only lasted 2.4 seconds. It wasn't any conceivable modulation. It wasn't from any solar or galactic source. And then, silence. The official explanation, an error, an anomaly, a glitch in the aging equipment. But off the record, some engineers aren't convinced. One was quoted saying, it looked intentional, not intelligent, but intentional, as if something was meant to be seen. Whatever it was, it has not occurred again. But the fact that it happened once, that it was captured, archived, and confirmed, has changed everything. Because if Voyager 2, with its failing power, ancient circuits, and fading voice, can still intercept something that breaks every rule we've written about deep space, then what else is out there that we aren't hearing due to the fact that we aren't listening? There's more to Voyager 2 than just a spacecraft. It's a mirror, one we launched into space not to look back at us, but to point us in the direction of what lies beyond our capabilities. 
Everything about it seemed unlikely, constructed by hand, coded in assembly, operated by teams that have since retired or passed away. And yet, it endures not because it was perfect, but because it was human. It represents a time when we dared to investigate, not for profit or power, but for the pure desire to know, to understand, to ask questions no one else was asking. Now, 46 years later, that same machine is still asking those questions for us, quietly, humbly, from a place no human has ever seen. It is transmitting the conditions of interstellar space, the music of plasma, the whispers of ancient star light not because we told it to, but because it still can. In doing so, Voyager 2 reminds us of something we've forgotten in our world of distractions and instant gratification. That the universe doesn't need to be loud to be profound. That the best discoveries don't come in explosions, but in echoes. And that sometimes the smallest signal from the farthest place says more about us than all the talk here on Earth ever could. Voyager isn't just talking about space to us. It's telling us about ourselves, about what we've done, what we've left behind, and maybe what we still have time to become. In the coldest, darkest corner of space, where sunlight is just a memory and gravity barely whispers, a tiny machine built by human hands is still speaking against every prediction, against every limitation, against time itself. Voyager to continues. However, this final discovery is not limited to science. It was something else a tremor, a reminder, a clue, something we were never meant to receive, or maybe something we were always intended to hear. Because this journey was never just about space. It was about proving we could reach out, that we could build something that mattered even when no one was watching, that inquiry could outlive politics, noise, and ego. Voyager 2's signal is fading. Its power is dying. But before it goes silent forever, it gave us one final truth, that the universe is not empty, that the edge isn't the end, and that sometimes the most impossible discoveries don't break our science, they fuel our imagination. And now, we want to know, what do you think Voyager found? Was it science or something we've never dared to name? Was it simply a cosmic accident or was it the beginning of something bigger? Let us know in the comments if this story has changed you, inspired you, or made you. Look at the stars a little differently. Click the bell to subscribe, as we're just starting out. There is more out there than we've ever imagined, and Voyager was just the beginning.